how your fuel shutoff works is this is threaded into the bottom of your carburetor. Whenever that plunger is all the way up, it does not let fuel get inside of this little jet. Once you turn on your ignition key, there's 12 volts applied to right here on your shutoff solenoid, which once you apply 12 volts there, it pulls this plunger down and holds it down. So if your fuel shutoff goes bad, your plunger won't pull down. That could be an issue why your mower won't start. So with it threaded in there, the plunger's up, you're not going to get any fuel into here because that rubber plunger's up there blocking it off. Once you turn your key, you'll get 12 volts applied to this solenoid and it'll pull that plunger down and then fuel will be able to flow through there. The plunger is supposed to act as an anti-backfire for when you shut down your engine uh, so it doesn't pull fuel into it. Um, older tractors didn't have them, but all newer tractors come equipped with them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.